beginning of your story. Okay. Said the small boy when he was asked to uh, write a song for his mother's birthday. All right. Well, son, the important thing is that you try. His father was very, very wise in such matters. Your mother loves you. She'll appreciate any song you write for her birthday. I disagree, said his younger yet wiser sister. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is that you succeed. <laughs> Now, children, said the father, in as low a voice as I could do, <laughs> I know that young mistress Brunhilda really likes to succeed. We all know that because she wears those pointy horns and things and comes at you. But, darling son, I just want you to create something because Creativity is so important, and up till this point in your young life, you have been not very creative. You do what you're told, you walk in a straight line, you apologize when you bump into someone. Therefore, I would like you to stretch yourself. So the boy thought long and hard. He pondered how to be more creative without any creativity of his own, so he went on a pilgrimage to go find the muses. <laughs> So he wandered into nature in search of muses and for some sort of inspiration for the song. At first the boy was distraught. He could not find any inspiration in nature anywhere. Until he saw the pretty peasant girl Genevieve getting water from the river and suddenly his mind was flooded with inspiration of beautiful songs that he could write. <laughs> the first song that came into mind was definitely not appropriate for his mother. <laughs> drew more water from the spring, and the second song was definitely not something he was going to perform in front of mother, sister, brother, or any male, female, any member of the family, possibly the sheep in the field, but other than that... Genevieve, do you like it? Jen, I don't think mom will like it. Um, mother's birthday, and he tried very, very hard as, as he pondered Genevieve and very determinedly pondered the tree and, and even more determinedly pondered the rock. <laughs> Tried very hard to listen to the little angel over his right shoulder and do the right thing. That's when Brunhilde appeared. At his left shoulder, <laughs> brother, father's not around. Why don't you do my chores for the next week. And I'll write you the best mom's birthday song ever. <laughs> and it dawned on him that this was not that difficult a way to get a song written for mom when somehow other thoughts were in his mind. He didn't really use a chance to do some physical work right now. So, <laughs> so he said, that's not a problem. I will do your chores for the next week. You come up with just the right song for mom and we'll be equal. So then he sets off to start her chores. And of course, Broomhandler goes off to write her song. <laughs> the birthday event comes. Broomhandler passes him a scroll containing the song on it. He stands up in front of his family and opens his mouth and goes, that thong, the thong, thong, thong. <laughs> once more and passes out from shock. <laughs> Bring the cackles and then sits politely down. And the moral of the story, do not trust teenage girls. <laughs>